So today I did this really nice kind of taupey metallic glittery eyeshadow look using the new ColourPop and Kathleen Light's So Jaded eyeshadow palette. This is the second look that I created using that palette. The first look I did, I really wanted to use all of those beautiful greens, especially that matte mossy green that was the basis for my previous look. But this time I really wanted to play around with more of the shadows, get into the metallics and the glitters. And I really, really love the way that this look turned out. You guys can see how the eyeshadows performed if you continue to watch this video. So definitely love this palette so far it's so versatile you honestly can create an abundance of looks with this palette and this palette is ColourPop's first 30 eyeshadow palette so that's super exciting I really can't wait for them to keep creating more 30 pan palettes because they're so beautiful and just super versatile so if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep on watching Okay guys, so let's just dive right in. And I'm not quite sure what a look I'm going to be doing today, but I do have my eye on a couple of shades from this palette. My last look, I used a lot of the green shades. So today I kind of want to go on the opposite spectrum and maybe do a more of a purpley look. I'm really drawn to this gorgeous color here. This one over here is called Smoky Quartz. And it's just like a stunning, like metallic, silvery taupe shade. It just is really stunning. So I definitely want to use that today. And I think I want to go into the more taupe shades. So that's what we're gonna be doing so in the crease I'm going to go into the shade called rose quartz and it's a really nice neutral kind of taupey brown it's a really nice crease shade because it's light but it still has nice pigmentation and color to it so it'll be really nice for blending those darker shades that I plan on using so I'm going to go into that shade called rose quartz with this morphe JH 31 blending brush so as you can see, I do have my makeup on today. I didn't think that I was going to be filming an eyeshadow tutorial, so I do have a little bit of mascara on, but I just had my eyebrows done, and so I do have a concealer as a base for the shadows. I just use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and that is all I have on my eyelids. So I'm just gonna go right into that shade and start blending that rose quartz shade in my crease. So the shade is quite interesting because when you look at it in the pan, it really doesn't look like much. It looks like it's quite a really light color, so you don't really think that there will be that much color to it. But as you can see in the crease, that's just that shade. It's like definitely a taupey kind of neutral shade and it's really nice in the crease. So that's why a lot of colors in the pan definitely look different once they're on your eyelids. And this shade is definitely one of those. It's just a really beautiful neutral crease shade the bit of that taupey purple undertone to it. Okay, so we have that rose quartz shade in the crease and now I'm going to add a little bit of this more kind of burgundy shade. The shade is called Garnet and I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush for that and I'm just gonna kind of place that a little bit closer to my lid in the crease just to add a little bit more color. I want a little bit of that red to shine through. So I really like the way that burgundy shade looks. It's a really nice rich burgundy shade. So it does kind of look a little bit purple once it has been blended in with that initial crease shade, which was more in the purpley side. So this like burgundy red turned almost like a rich wine purple. And I think that it will pair really nice with the lid shade that I wanna use. So just to deepen up the outer corners a little bit and kind of drag it a little bit more in the middle, but not too much in the inner corner, just more on the outer corner. I'm gonna use this darker shade. This is called Jasper. So it's a really nice matte deep plum shade. So that will look really nice just to deepen up the crease a little bit more. And I'm going to be using that same Sigma brush that I used for the previous crease shade. So I'm just deepening up that outer corner just a little bit. And I'm slowly just dragging it a little closer to the inner corner. And I do plan on doing a cut crease for this look. So I really want to make sure that it will be nice and defined by having a darker crease shade. I just love the way that these shadows blend 
They're so pigmented and really blendable. And as you can see, I have my foundation on and I usually do my eyeshadows first and do my foundation after. But today I have my foundation on and there's really not that much fallout at all. So that's really good, especially for these darker, more purpley shadows. Okay, so I do want to create a cut crease and I'm going to use this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 00 and it's just their white concealer. And I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush for that and I'm going to carve out a cut crease with this concealer. And I'm going to place the cut crease on the inner corner of the eye and just kind of drag it out a little bit just to really define my lid and make it look super nice. I really love the way cut creases look because they really do make a difference, especially when you want that lid shade to really pop. So we're going to do that and I know it can be intimidating to do cut creases, but honestly it takes a little bit of practice, a little bit more time, but you will find that it's worth it because it really does make a really nice eyeshadow look when you just want to go that extra step. So I'm just going to take some of that concealer onto this little flat concealer brush and we're going to start carving out that crease. too high of that cut crease I just kind of placed it right above my natural line and then I kind of just finish it off towards the end here and I'm just gonna blend that out with this little blending brush it doesn't have to be perfect I just didn't want to drag the cut crease so far so I'm just gonna blend the rest of that concealer out Okay, so we have that cut crease carved out. Now before I place the shadow on my lid, I do want to prime my eyelids first with this NYX Glitter Primer. This just really helps any kind of glitter or metallic shadow stick really nice and become super metallic. So I really like to do this whenever I use any metallic shadows. So I'm just gonna place some of that onto my eyelids where I place that concealer and I'm just going to use this 234 Luxe Smoky Shader Brush and make sure it's nice and evenly dispersed onto my lid. Okay, now so going in with that same flat brush I'm gonna dip into this stunning metallic shade that shade is called smoky quartz and it's like a beautiful taupey silver metallic shade and as soon as I swatched it I was like wow this is just so buttery and pigmented and I really knew I needed to use it on my eyelids so if you missed that I did swatch every single shade in this palette in my previous video where I did a matte green look so you can see all the swatches in that previous video if you want to so I'm just going to place that shade all over my lid where we we did that cut crease. As you can see, this shadow is so pigmented. That base that we used, the NYX Glitter Primer, it really helped have the shadow just easily stick onto the lid with no problems. You could also wet your brush with a bit of makeup setting spray or some MAC Fix Plus and that really will also make metallic shades really pop. But I really love this glitter primer because I just find it really easy to use and it doesn't make the shadows crease less and last all day. So I'm kind of just smoking it out along the edge over there, not adding too much to the outer corner. Okay, so that shade is on the lid and it's so pretty. As you can see, it's so metallic and it just really stands out. I really love that shade. But I do also want to dip into one of the pressed glitters that's in this palette. So I think I'm going to go in with this pressed glitter called Opal. It's a really beautiful kind of like multicolored diamondy shade or like crystal shade, a pure crystal shade. It really has a lot of beautiful specks in there. And I think I just want to place it on the inner corner of my eye where we place that cut crease. So I'm just going to place a little bit of that with this flat brush. This is a Morphe JH41 brush. So I'm going to dip a little bit of that and just place it on the inner corners. This glitter literally just looks like diamonds on your eyes. It's so pretty because it has 
that multi-dimensional look to it. It has like a lot of different color glitters within and it's definitely much nicer on the lids than even in the pan because you could really see the different color glitters when it's laid out on your lid like this. So it's so pretty. And I just want to place that only on the inner corner because I don't want to hide that beautiful other metallic shade that we used. But I think the glitter just makes this look pop. Okay, so we have that glitter on and now just to finish the outer corner, I'm just going to add a little bit more of that shade that we used in the crease. This was the darker color called Jasper, which was more of the deep plum. And I just kind of want to just deepen up the outer corners just a little bit. So I'm going to go back in with that Sigma E25 brush and place a little bit of that dark shade on the outer corners. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush. This is a Morphe JH40 brush and I'm going to dip into that nice burgundy shade called Garnet and I'm just going to smoke that out on the lower lash line. So that nice, beautiful, rich burgundy shade is smoked out on the lower lash line. And I did take it a little bit further because I do want that nice burgundy shade to shine through. And now just to tight line the lower lash line a little bit with an eyeshadow, I'm going to dip into this darker shade. This is called Stoned and it's definitely more of a neutral color. So it'll be really good to deepen the lower lash line a little bit. I'm just using this Morphe JH43 brush. Okay, now to line the waterline, I'm going to use this really nice pastel lavender shade. This is from ColourPop. It's their creme gel liner and it is called Cry Baby. So I'm just going to line my waterline with that shade. Now to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I'm using this flat Morphe JH41 brush and I'm going to go into this Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Diamond. I actually used it in my inner corner for my previous video and I really love it. I'm just going to take some of that and place it on the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, now I'm just going to put some black mascara on my lashes. This is the ColourPop BFF mascara in the shade Black on Black. And I'm going to pop on a pair of lashes. I'll link the specific kind I use in the description box. And I'll be right back to finish this look off with the lips. Okay guys, so the lashes are on and now to finish off the look, I always like to do my lips after I do my eyes because it really depends on what kind of eye look I do for the tone of lip I'm going to use. So that's why I kind of like to do it with you guys on camera. So first I'm going to line my lips with this Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This is in the shade 104 Gone Grage. So I'm just going to align my lips with that first and this lip liner is great for this eye look because it is a little bit more on the taupey side so it has a bit of purple undertone and it's a really nice brownish kind of darker shade so it's perfect for this eye look. And I'm kind of just bringing that liner all over my lips just roughly. Now I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Lippy Stick. This is in the shade Polywog. So I'm just going to place a little bit of that all over my lips. It's a really nice, almost like cool toned, brownie taupey shade. So it goes really nice with these eyes. And now to add a little bit of gloss and to add some more color to my lips, I'm going to go in with this Morphe Lip Topper. This is like a really nice shiny metallic lip gloss. It's really nice when you just want your lips to kind of plump up and look really glossy and metallic. This is in the shade Jinx and it's a really nice shade because it does have a lot of nice purple glitters in it and like pinky to it. So it'll match really nice with the eye look that we did.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. This is my second look using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop So Jaded eyeshadow palette. And I actually really love the way this look turned out. It's pretty much what I imagined because as soon as I saw those like taupey purple shades and those beautiful metallic shades, I knew that I wanted to create a look like this. I haven't really done a more purple look on my YouTube channel yet, so I love this. So the shadows performed really beautiful. As you can see, there was like barely any fallout. The purple shades were so beautiful and red and everything just turned out super nice. I love that nice metallic shade that we used and the pressed glitter was beautiful. I just think it added a really nice pop to the eye look. This is definitely more of a dramatic look but I really wanted to kind of just have fun with the shadows and I really played around with as many shades as I could just to kind of test them out and see how they would perform. So they were really beautiful. I think the palette is super versatile. It's a really really good palette. There are 30 eyeshadows so you definitely have a lot to choose from and they're really beautiful. You could totally do a more dramatic look like I did or you could even do a more neutral kind of subdued look for every day Totally up to you guys. It's really nice to just play around and see what you can come up with So I really like this look I also like the lip that we paired with it because when I do more of a dramatic eye I kind of like to do more of a neutral kind of soft lip and I really think that this soft light kind of purpley glossy lip turned out really pretty and I think overall it came out really nice I would love to know what you you guys think and if you want to see any other looks using that palette or just certain colors in general please let me know in the comment section down below and I will be sure to read them and respond and I also appreciate all of your sweet comments and support on my videos guys it means so much to me all of your support is really amazing and it really inspires me to keep creating more content and I just love it so thank you guys so much once again for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!